Hey, it's Pastor Tommy here with your Sila moment for today. We hope that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving this past Thursday. Uh, today we have another message that has to do with thankfulness. It's found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. It starts off by saying, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ for you. And so it's interesting, that passage, because the truth is, anybody who has lived life for any amount of time knows that not every circumstance in your life make you want to give thanks. Sometimes we go through some difficult things. What's interesting about the holiday season is that the, the numbers for depression and loneliness are actually higher than they would be any other time of the year. And so with the holiday being over, I think it's great to read this verse because it reminds us uh, that, giving, you know, that, that giving thanks is an action. And it's a decision that we choose to make. It's funny because the word thank you is usually one of the first words we learn as a kid. Um, it's later on in life that we learn to really what it takes to be thankful, actually. And it's interesting in the passage, if you keep going in verse 23 and 24, it says, Now may, God, may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus, who calls, uh, who calls you is faithful, and he will surely do it. We see in the ending part of this passage, it's, it's God who does the work in us. It's our job just to, uh, in essence, submit to what he's calling us to. It's he's the one that provides us with the peace. He's the one that provides us with all these things. Our job is not to look at our circumstances we're currently going through, but instead remember that all, all of that God has done in our lives to the point where we're at today. And so allow me to challenge you with that, regardless of where you find yourself today. Would you choose to look back on all that God has done and with that, invoke some feelings of thankfulness in your heart. Let's pray. God, we come before you today. God, we're praying for anybody who may be feeling like they're going through some circumstances in their life right now that don't necessarily naturally invoke feelings of thankfulness, God. Our prayer is, Lord, that you would uh, you'd give us some hindsight to be able to see all the things that you've brought us through in our lives. Lord, and all the plans that you have for the future. God, our prayer today is that we would be able to look at these things, all that you've done, and that would invoke feelings of thankfulness in our hearts, Lord, that we would choose to be thankful today uh, despite the circumstances that we have, that we would be able to fulfill what it says in Scripture here and, and to give thanks in all circumstances, God. That's what we pray today. We know that we're not able to do that according to our own strength, but it is uh, uh, solely by depending on you who is able to complete all the work in our lives, God. We thank you, God, for all that you're doing. Again, we're praying for that person today that may be feeling lonely, may be feeling depressed in this holiday season, Lord. Uh, would you give them joy? Would you give them peace? Lord, we're praying for this today. God, we thank you for all that you've done, all that you're doing, and all that you will do. We pray this in the mighty and magnificent name of Jesus. Amen and amen.